All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, today, what have I got for you? Well, you know, we got that whole nationwide chicken wing shortage, whatever. It's all right, we'll go with thighs. So today, I'm showing you how we're gonna grill some chicken thighs on our Nomad portable grill. You with it? Let's get it. So as we said guys, we're doing some chicken thighs today and we're gonna be grilling them up. Now I've got some chicken thighs here and I've already gone through and trimmed off the fat. Uh, not to bore you guys with watching me trim fat off of uh, chicken thighs, but it was some excess skin on here that we went ahead and trimmed off. So these thighs are ready to be seasoned. So all we gotta do is pick one of our seasonings here on the rack. So let's grab one. All right, so today we're gonna to be using a key lime jerk seasoning that we got from our friends over at Louisiana Grills. Their information is down in the uh, links uh, in the description box, so be sure to check it out. So we're gonna get these uh, chicken thighs seasoned up here, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, put it on here pretty liberally across both of these thighs. And tell you what, I'm gonna flip this over and get the meat side first here. And we're gonna go pretty liberal on it. Now this seasoning is, uh, it's kind of salt heavy, not super salt heavy, but it is a little salt heavy. Does have your tones of your sweet and your heat in it as well. And it's got some uh, great granules in it. So uh, I'm expecting that it's gonna be really good on this chicken. So that's why we're gonna use it. Now we've got our meat side all seasoned up and now we're gonna get some put on the uh, skin side of this. So let's get this put on here. And again, we're gonna go pretty liberal with it. All right, so we got these chicken thighs all seasoned up here with our key lime jerk rub. And uh, now it's time for us to get the grill lit. Now today we're gonna be using our uh, Nomad portable grill. That's right, it's a new grill to Barbecue Boulevard. Our friends over at Nomad Grill sent it over to us. And uh, hey, we're gonna fire it up today and check it out. So uh, tell you what, let's go get the grill lit up and let's get this cook going, all right, let's go. All right, so this here is our Nomad Grills. This is the uh, portable grill that, again, they sent me over uh, to check out. Now, again, uh, you know, guys, yeah, they sent me this grill, but I'm going to give you honest opinions about this grill as we go forward. So uh, don't fret. We're going to be honest about everything here. Now, this is a sleek looking grill. Obviously, it looks like a suitcase. It's very easy uh, to pick up with this handle here and lug around. We've got a nice little uh, tell truth thermometer gauge here uh, that can uh, keep temperatures as to what you're cooking in here because you can smoke in this thing as well as grill. Obviously, we've got our two clasps here that uh, hold the grill closed. So you just open it up here. Now this is an optional grate here, guys. This is a second grate that you can get to expand your, uh, your cooking surface. And I did get one of those. Now this, I actually did pay for. They did not send this to me. So what you get when you get this grill is you get the entire suitcase or grill as it is, and you get one of these racks here. These are cast iron racks and they are magnetic. So they actually stick right in here. So pretty cool. It's got the Nomad design on it right there in the corner and uh, just a really good sleek uh, design guys. Now if we turn this sideways here, you can kind of see here, these are going to be your magnetic, well let me turn it a little more so you can see better. This is going to be your, your uh, vent control here. So you can actually let your air in through here and there's another one on the other side over there so you can create that offset cook and draw in here and exhaust over there as you have it closed. So this is a magnetic uh, little slider here that you can move this to where it's uh, either full open or uh, full closed. So pretty cool design there. Uh, the exterior of this is uh, got a little bit of area in here so it should stay fairly cool so we're gonna see but man let's go ahead and get this thing fired up all right to get started we're gonna start with our charcoal chimney guys we're gonna put that right there all right now the fuel we're gonna use today is we're gonna use this uh 
charcoal that uh, Nomad sent over. It's 100% all natural charcoal. And from what I understand, it's supposed to be a, uh, move this out of the way a little bit. It's supposed to be a, uh, a fruit wood uh, charcoal from Thailand. It's supposed to burn really hot and uh, long. So let's pull this out and take a look. There you go. So basically it's little, little sticks like this. Kind of reminds me of the char logs like from uh, B&B. And uh, remember guys, you don't have to use this if you don't want to. If you want to use your own lump charcoal or uh, briquettes or whatever, you know, go for it. But hey, they sent this to us, so we're going to check it out. Now to get this lit guys, we're going to go with tumbleweeds here and I've got a couple of tumbleweeds we're going to put right there and we are going to get this lit. All right, we'll put the uh, charcoal chimney right over top of it and we'll let this uh, charcoal light up. All right guys, so we are back and we got our uh, charcoal lit here. Now we're going to go ahead and get this dumped into the grill so we can get it brought up to temperature. And what we're going to do is we're going to dump our charcoal on this side because we got our vent control system here on the bottom and I want it to be near where the charcoal is at so we can have the exhaust on the opposite side. So we're going to go ahead and dump this in. And we're just going to basically scoot all of our charcoal over here. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna close this up and we're gonna let it come to temperature. And we're making sure that we get our vent here open all the way. So we now have that open wide open and we'll go take a look at the vent side. So our vent side, we're gonna make sure we got it wide open as well. And so now we're gonna let that heat just come through. And now hopefully you guys can kind of see this, but it looks like right now we're approaching 300 degrees on this grill, guys, which is really good. I've never used this grill before, so I'm learning it as well as using this type of fuel. So um, touching the exterior. Yes, the exterior is actually warm. So you definitely want to make sure that you put this on a surface that can handle it. We're using a stainless steel table to get today, so I'm not really worried about it. All right guys, so now that we are approaching this 300 degrees here, we're actually gonna go ahead and take a little piece of uh, post oak. You know, I got I like my post oak wood, so we're gonna put a little piece of post oak on here to burn with it. And we're gonna put our, our cooking grate on. Now at the same time, we're gonna actually spray this rack a little bit. We're gonna be careful because we are spraying with ignited coals here, so. So just enough to make sure we got the, uh, the grate all nicely coated and we're going to close this back up. Now here on this exhaust side, if you notice, you can kind of see the smoke coming out of here. So we know we are definitely getting that draw. We're pulling in our heat from the opposite side where the coals are at and the exhaust is coming over here and I definitely smell that post oak aroma. So it's doing really well right now. Uh, I'm going to give this a few minutes and then we'll get our chicken put on. All right, so we got our grill up to about 280 degrees right now. We're going to get this opened up here. All right, so as we unwrap this chicken, guys, we can really smell the aroma of this jerk seasoning coming off this chicken. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it over here uh, opposite of our coals. And we're gonna try and get it to absorb some of this post oak smoke. Now, as you can see, this grill doesn't have a huge grill surface. Now, the, the information for the, uh, the specs on this grill is gonna be in the links down below. I don't wanna bore you with spitting out specs, so just go check that out. But we've got three uh, chicken thighs on here that have already been seasoned, and we got our post oak on. We've got our Nomad charcoal lit. So guys, let's get this cook going. All right, so we're sitting at about 300 degrees and this is about 30 minutes later. So we're gonna go ahead and crack this open and take a look here. And you can see our uh, chicken is coming along really well here. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get a little uh, temperature, see where we're at. Now we're using our Thermal Pro here today, guys. And again, uh, if you don't have a Thermal Pro, uh, check the links down in the description box uh, and you can go get one of these. 
but uh, looks like we're at about 155 degrees there on that one and uh, we're trying to be careful not to get into the bone here so here we are about 150 degrees on this one and about 135 degrees on the bigger uh, chicken thigh here and so that's all well and dandy but what we're going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and spray it down with a little butter spray here just so we can protect the skin and uh, make sure it's not going to you know start to crack and, and tear apart on us. And we'll get this closed back up for just a little bit longer. And I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. All right guys, so we've had this chicken going here for another 15 minutes. We're gonna crack it open and take a look here. And it's looking pretty good here. We've got some great color developing. So we're gonna go ahead and again, use our uh, Thermapro here and just kind of take a peek. And see where we're at temperature wise. We're at 167 there. I don't know if you guys can actually see that one, but 167, 168 there. Um, 165 here and a 150 here. Now again on chicken thighs guys, you want that to kind of get up there to about 175 degrees to call it done. So we're going to actually kind of finish this cook off now. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to get this chicken put right over our coals here and uh, you can hear that sizzle. Uh, we're going to see if we can kick the temperature up on this a little bit on the chicken that is and just kind of finish this chicken off guys all right we're gonna get this uh, big chicken thigh flipped over here just a little bit see if we can get that kind of crispy and we'll go ahead and flip over the smaller ones too hear that sizzle all right we're gonna get this chicken thigh turned over again here to see that skin split off there, but we're still doing well. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let these go until we get to our finishing temperature, guys, and we'll get this off. So what are my first impressions of this grill? Well, I really like the portability of this grill. You can take it anywhere you wanna go. If you wanna take it to the beach, the park, a tailgating, anywhere you wanna go, you can take this with you. Now I will say this, with the single rack in it, this grill is 28 pounds. If you buy the optional second rack to expand your grilling area to both halves of this grill, it will kick the weight up to 31 pounds. So just keep that in mind for when you want to pull this thing around. Now, uh, the heat retention on it works really well. Uh, when I try to smoke it, you know, close it up, get some post oak in there and get some smoke going. Uh, opening up the vents and pulling that heat through worked really well. The temperatures got up uh, pretty quickly for it being a small grill. You kind of would expect it, right? Uh, but man, overall, I'm really impressed with this grill. Now, we'll say the exterior does get a little warm, so be mindful of that when you are uh, selecting whatever surface that you're gonna put this on. You probably don't wanna put this on any plastic anywhere. Just a heads up. But uh, hey, I'm really digging uh, this uh, Nomad portable grill. So uh, it's my first cook on it, and I plan to cook on it some more you know get some use out of it and uh figure out what all it can and can't do uh so i don't think you would be disappointed if you check out this grill again i'll have their information down in the description box below so you can go check out the nomad portable grill for yourself all right let's go get this chicken off man i'm hungry All right, so let's do a recap of what we did with today's cook. So today we got some uh, chicken thighs from our local grocery store and we got them trimmed up. You know, get rid of the excess fat and skin that we don't want to cook. We're not going to eat it, so let's get rid of it. So after we got this chicken all uh, trimmed up, we got it seasoned up. Now today we went with our uh, key lime jerk rub from Louisiana Grills. Now this is a really good rub. It's uh, got a good balance of salt to sweet to heat, and it's got some great textures within this rub. So that's what we went with today. We got this chicken seasoned up, and then we let it get a good sweat. Just kind of rested it while we lit up the grill. And today we are using our Nomad Grills 
portable grill. Now, uh, the Nomad guys sent me this grill to check out, so that's what we did today. Now, we used their charcoal, guys, and this was a hardwood that's made from fruit wood from Thailand. Now, this stuff is supposed to burn longer, it's supposed to burn hotter, uh, cleaner, all of that. So that's what we're using. So we got this lit up in our uh, charcoal chimney today with some uh, tumbleweeds, and uh, we got it put into our grill. Now, once we got our grill up to about 300 degrees, we uh, added in a little post oak wood to get a little bit of that Texas barbecue flavor into this chicken. You know I gotta have that post oak, right? So we got it put in there, we got our cooking grate put on, and uh, let it come back up to temperature. After that, we uh, we went ahead and sprayed down our uh, cooking rack inside this grill just so we can make sure that our chicken doesn't stick. After that, it was time for us to smoke it. Now we put it offset, so we got our, our coals on one side, we've got our chicken on the other, we've got the vents wide open that feed oxygen to the fire, as well as on the opposite side over our chicken to exhaust. So we created an offset and we got the draw going through. We got this chicken smoked up to roughly 150 degrees or so, and then we finished it off directly over our coals. So pretty much guys, you are caught up on what we did with today's cook. So it's time for us to taste some chicken, all right? So let's go. All right, so as you can see, we've got our chicken thighs here uh, on our Texas cutting board, of course. Compliments of uh, Texas cutting boards are us. But hey, this is what this looked like coming off of this uh, Nomad portable grill, and it actually looks fabulous. The aroma is just on point. Uh, this again is that rub from Louisiana Grills. It just smells really good and gives a really good color on this chicken as you can see. So we're gonna bite into this guy, so let's do it. All right, so hey, as I always tell you guys, if you enjoyed what you saw in this uh, video, make sure you check out the videos I got listed right here and uh, click on that subscribe button up there. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.